Now the biggest birds in Wisconsin is getting ready to fly south for the winter. The Sandhill Crane stands close to four feet tall, and Fox 11's Eric Peterson has more on the migration from Shawano County. At the Navarino State Wildlife Area, Sandhill Cranes are easy to see. They do what we call stage at this time of the year. They're getting together in larger and larger numbers at large wetland complexes like Navarino. Jeff Pritzel says wetlands give the birds cover in the evening. What they're looking for is shallow water that they can stand in overnight. And what that does is protects them from the approach of predators during the night. Pritzel says the birds are big. Standing up, they're you know pushing four feet tall and their wingspan is you know six, seven feet. Their base color is kind of that auto primer gray is the way I describe it. <laughs> they're quite an impressive sight. They have a, an impressive um, kind of prehistoric sound when their call is made. Pritzel says the cranes nest and remain in the Great Lakes region during the spring and summer, but he says the cranes can cause damage to crops. They're typically now going into harvested grain fields, uh, wheat fields, so they're just picking up spilled grain that, that wasn't going to be utilized anyhow. So they're not really causing damage now, but it's the spring of the year when they can move into the young corn fields that they can be a problem. Pritzel says there's no sand hill season in Wisconsin. State legislature would have to create any season. But for now, these big gray birds can be found roaming the field until they head south to the Gulf of Mexico. Some of them are starting to move out already, but through the rest of, through, through the month of October, you have a good chance of, of seeing them. And they will, um, they'll start concentrating in bigger groups, you know, throughout the month. In Navarino, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. If you want to see more of the Sand Hills, the Navarino State Wildlife Area is having a bird watching event this week. For more information, just go to our website, fox11online.com. There you'll find a link in the news links section of our homepage.